Hey guys, what's up? It's Tyler. Um, so a lot of guys have been sending a lot of guys have been sending me videos about you know my what I do for workouts and whatnot, and a lot of them are like you know hey bro I got a pull up bar for Christmas uh, and I can't even do one pull up you know what what do I do? Uh, like for example I saw Chet's video and he mentioned that he'd seen me doing them so I'm gonna go ahead and make this as a video response to uh, to him, but um. <clears throat> So the first thing about like working out, if you can at all avoid it, do not bind while you're working out. It's really, really bad for you because of the fact that your chest is constricted, you can't breathe as deep, so you're actually not getting the oxygen you need, which ends up doing more damage to your uh, muscles than, than working out does good to build them up. So th that's that. And also, because you're trying to breathe deeper and your lungs are constricted, they're going to fill, their response is to fill with fluid. Why that is, I'm not sure, I just know that it is. So you can end up with pneumonia and whatnot. It's, if you can not bind while you're working out, don't. I know some guys can't cope with it, whatever, but try. Um, so I'm, on this one I'm going to do, you know, a workout set with very minimum equipment needed, you know, a pull-up bar, a bar somewhere to pull yourself up on. Um, a lot of guys can't do pull-ups, and that's because it uses a lot of your latissimus dorsi, which is a muscle that doesn't get a whole lot of strenuous use. I mean, you use it a lot every day, but not for, you know, really heavy stuff, you know, lifting your own body weight with it. Um, <coughs> and so, when you're first starting out, you've got to be really careful not to hurt yourself, because... Your, you know, not only can you damage your lat, but you can damage all the supporting muscles in your shoulders. So don't overdo it, whatever you do. Um, and the way that I recommend, you know, with that, especially if you can't, if you can't do one, get yourself either a chair or a medicine ball. Um, not a medicine ball, like a workout ball. Let me see, like, like that. Um, and then what you're going to do is, let me get this set up, and then I'll show you all how I started uh, being able to do pull-ups. Okay, now I mentioned that um, you can use a chair or a medicine ball, or a workout ball. I prefer these workout balls because um, when you put your feet on them and you're using it to push yourself up, it recruits more of your core stabilizer, so you're getting more bang for your buck. Um, and what you're going to do is, you know, let's say, let's say, you know, you're here and you just, yeah, not happening. Okay, first things first, a pull-up is a wider grip with your hands facing away from you. Okay, if you do this, this is a chin-up right here, and this is using all of your biceps. There's no lat work, no, it's pretty much almost a bicep workout, and you know, you're recruiting your abs to stabilize you. But anyway, so to do pull-ups, you know, put your feet on the ball, or the chair, or whatever. Put your, put your hands out just a little bit above or beyond shoulder width. And then put your feet here, and use as much of your upper body strength as you can to pull up. And make up for what you don't have with your legs. You know, like this. And then once that's easy, see, I haven't used the ball in a while, my stabilizers suck. Once, once that e that's easy, you know, do it with one leg until you can get yourself up over up to the bar and then after you know a week maybe two of that you'll be able to just tear into it like that now what I recommend is pairing that with a move that uses the exact opposite muscle groups and the one that I use because you know you're using your lats right here and a little bit of your biceps, but not, not too much. And a lot of your shoulder stabilizers in that one. So what you're going to do is you're going to pair it with a basic push-up. Um, and that's going to use a lot of your triceps which will, and the other supporting muscles that you use for that. And when you, know, when you, uh, when you pair movements like that, you know, bulk, movement, bulk movements like a pull-up with a push-up that are exactly opposite, you end up increasing your strength and size gains. I'm not sure why. 
I just know that it is. Now what I do, let me get this set up and I'll show y'all. Okay, now I make the push-ups a little more difficult. I use these uh, Perfect Push-ups or Push-Up Pro, whatever they're called. Um, I use those because it once again recruit, recruits more stabilizer muscles and you're getting more bang for your buck and you end up getting a lot bigger and a lot more cut a lot quickly or a lot, wow, a lot quickly, a lot faster. Um, so what you're going to do, um, now I didn't mention, when you're doing the pull-ups, you want to do three sets of ten. That's what I do. You know, if, if, you know, you can, you start out, let's say you start out and you're using almost all of your legs to get you up, whatever. As long as, you know, a starting point is a starting point. And let's say, you know, you progress to one leg on the ball, but you can't finish that ten set with one leg, that's fine. Put two legs back on the ball. Or, you know, you get to doing them without the ball and, you know, you get, let's say you get one in without the ball. And then you got to go back to, you know, one leg for a couple reps. And then, you know, you got to go down to two legs for a couple reps. That's fine. Just finish the sets. Same thing with the push-ups. Um, now, you know, you want to watch your form so that you don't hurt yourself. Uh, when you're doing a push-up, you want to try and suck your belly button back towards your spine. And you want to keep your back as straight as possible. Keep your head up and your back straight. Okay? It, and then, you know, you're just going to go all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up and keep straight. Now, if you can't do a push-up on your hands, same thing. You know, get on your knees. That's fine, too. You know, just do it like this. Whatever you got to do. Same thing, uh, you know, do uh, three sets of ten. And then, so the workout's going to be, you know, set of ten pull-ups, rest, you know, a minute or so, whatever, and then do a set of ten push-ups. And same thing, you know, if you stay, if all you can do is push-ups on your knees, fine. If you go to your toes and you can't finish the set on your toes, go back to your knees, whatever you need to do. Um, and so that, you, like I said, you know, you pair, you pair the bolt movements with an opposite bolt movement, it burns more calories, it, uh, and it causes a lot more gain strength and size-wise. So I guess, I hope that helps y'all out. If y'all have any other questions, let me know. All right, bye.